All right, so here is the Speedix IS100 stack. You get three pieces. Uh, so it comes in this container right here, which is kind of nice. You know, it protects it pretty damn good. Uh, so it comes with the three boards, and then it comes with this bag, which consists of, I think there's four plugs in here. Yeah, there's four plugs. And I'll show you these real quick. Uh, so they're not that real soft, nice, soft silicone like I really like, but they are soft and bend really good. So they're fine. They do the job. Um, you got one with a two pin for your buzzer. And then these three are for your receiver, your camera, and then a LED if you are going to be using an LED. Um, and one of them is different than the other two. You can see these two are the same. They got they go from the left to right, yellow, red, black, and then this goes black, red, yellow. Um, and if you look, so it also comes with instructions. And if you look on the left side is uh, the VTX. You don't have to worry about because it already has its own pins on it, right there. So that just you know goes down onto the pins. But the camera, you do use the plug. And then the LED. I'm trying to think, sorry. Okay, so on the right side of the flight controller is where the uh, receiver plug is. And that one gets the one that is opposite. Oops, that's not the one. So that one gets the yellow. This one gets the yellow. It must be the LED. Yeah, it's it's for the LED because it goes ground power signal from left to right. And that's how it is on here from left to right, ground power signal. So the one that's different is for the LED. So LED plug and then camera and receiver. And then uh, you also get some nice 18 gauge battery cables, which is really nice to have because I usually will buy my XT 30s. You know, you get like a bag of five of them or something and they don't come with wires and you know, you can, you can buy rolls of this shit if you want, but um, it's nice that it comes with it, you know, so you don't have to worry about it if you forgot or you just don't have it, you know? And then the next thing, it also comes with a little capacitor. It's not a big one. It's 25 volt, 150 UF. So, you know, it'll work. It'll do its job, which is, you know, to keep voltage spikes out. But I, I prefer to use, um, let's see. Whoa, that's a big one. 470 UF. I like the 330 UFs. Yeah. 25 volt, 330 UF. So it's a little bit bigger, but it's going to work a lot better. I didn't even know that I had this one. There's a four, 470 UF. They get quite a bit bigger as you jump up, and it's not even that much more UF. It's from 330 to 470. It's that much bigger, and it's still only 25 volt. crazy but yeah I like the 330 25 volts here's a big ass one 400 volt here's a thousand UF 35 volt these are good for five inch quads okay so moving on you also get a bunch of M2 standoffs and nuts no screws so you have to come up with your own screws to be able to go from the bottom side of the frame in through the ESC. Um, and it comes all plugged in together, but without the standoffs on. So it'll just come sitting just like this with this plugged in. Like that, and then the VTX plugged in like this 
that's how it comes in the package like that pull it all apart um, so I'm gonna I guess I'll go through and show you exactly what I do to get this ready so you have to do some bridging of pads on the bottom of this flight controller before you put it in the stack or else you're just gonna have to take the whole thing apart again just to get to <laughs> to bridge these pads because if you don't bridge these pads you're screwed and nothing will work right or you might fry something so let's take a look at this now I'll show you the pads so on this side here when you got the pins on the right side and it says arm facing up up here at the top you got it says bat and then the middle pad says nothing and then it says 5 volt so there's three pads right there that is for your camera or VTX uh, I can't remember um, but for for the most part usually I mean most people are gonna go with the 5 volt that's what I use every time I don't I don't ever use the battery power because most VTX's are 5 volt the one that it comes with this VTX is 5 volt as well so um, but it will not work if you don't bridge the pad so if you just put this whole stack together your VTX isn't even gonna power up and you're gonna think it's broken or something but you need to bridge these pads so this one is either camera or VTX and this one's either camera or VTX so you got the three right here you got a bridge for either battery power or 5 volt then next you have RX6 and TX6 these two are a little bit bigger pads and then right after that you have the next three for either the VTX or the camera I'm sorry I can't remember and then you got two more pads uh, TX3 and RX3 so pretty cool that you got two different UARTs there that you can use um, and then if we flip this do a 180 uh, it says P slash S and that's for PPM or S bus and then the middle pad doesn't say anything and then this one says RX1 so if you're gonna be using DSMX uh, you want to bridge the middle pad with the right pad and if you use an S bus you want to bridge the left pad with the middle pad and then right next to that is another three three pads and that is uh, it says 5 volt and the middle one doesn't say anything and then the next one says 3.3 volt so this is for your receiver and you need to bridge either 5 volt or 3 volt depending on if you're using DSMX or S bus or whatever um, I always do the 5 volt so I do 5 volt and the middle one bridge those two together so there's four different things you need to bridge together um, what type of receiver you're using the voltage you want your receiver to be your camera power and your VTX power so I'll do those real quick I'll show you it's pretty easy to do so we'll start with these ones right here I don't know how close I can get with the camera Hopefully it's not blurry. All right, so I'm doing five volt for this one. Done. Five volt for this one. Done. Now I want five volt for my receiver power done and I'm using S bus done pretty easy and quick to do and that's all taken care of now it's pretty nice to be able to just do all your options real quick like what are your options okay it's this 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 and this all right now I'm done now everything's ready to go and from here on everything just plugs in uh, once it's mounted to the frame I plug in my camera go straight to my camera and it has the video in video and goes right into here and it works into the OSD so you you still have your OSD you don't have to worry about you know just using the power and ground and then running the video in somewhere else and then the VTX you don't have to run the video out anywhere either it's already all wired in into the pins, so it's all good to go so you don't have to do anything 
all you have to do is just solder this to your camera, plug it in, solder this to your receiver, plug it in, and you're good to go. All done. Pretty awesome. I really am liking this uh, stack, and it's working well for me. I've been flying a few different quads with that stack, and it's working out really good, so pretty happy with it. Um, get it at Heli Nation. Heli Nation has it $59.99, which is an excellent price. Uh, there's other places selling it for a little bit more. Um, so I would definitely go to Heli Nation to get it. Because, uh, let's see. Yeah, you get free shipping too. So Great price on a stack that includes a VTX and free shipping. You can't beat that. So, yeah. All right, that's all I got. Any questions or comments, leave them below. And thank you for watching.